back here on first down. Play action. This is what they do well. Swing it to a Buka. And no running room. It gets away from one. Abuka in motion once again. Hand it to Henderson. Good. Henderson split out wide. Now back into the backfield. You've got Marvin Harrison Jr. and Benjamin Morrison locked in a primetime matchup at the bottom of your screen. Third and long. McCord settles, fires. Stover, first down. The transitioned tight end who has shown incredible job in his hand has kind of alleviated some of the pressure for himself. He's played a little bit more relaxed in the last two weeks. He'll look to go to the air again, to the outside. It's Stover who breaks a tackle. Stiff arms another. Play action for McCoy, looking for a deep ball down the sideline. Play clock down to five. Henderson, looking for the hole, can't find it. Javante Jean-Baptiste, the trend the first four games. Ohio State has been converting less than 50% on third and short and less than 40% on third down all year. Here's third and 12 from McCord. Dials it up down the middle of the field. In, in, in there. And he's got the football. Gets across the 20. Dragged down after a pickup of five. Three pounds. Coming off a game in which he had a touchdown last week against Western Kentucky. Second and six. Twelve personnel, two tight ends, both to the right side for Ohio State. Trainer. Can't find the hole. Notre Dame close. Notre Dame is showing pressure right now. You see the linebackers in a mug look. That means they come up and cover up the linemen. Doesn't mean they're going to blitz, but they're showing it. McCord feeling the pressure. Delivers over the middle. Beautiful throw. And Buka on the slant picks up the first down. They did bring pressure, but they tried to drop Leofau out underneath that route. But he just is not quite fast enough to get there. And Kyle McCord throws it right in front of him. They kind of... Train him. Runs into a wall, keeps the legs churning. In Ohio State, they've got extra bodies in there right now. Mayan Williams, the running back. He's got it. Williams stops short. Ball comes out. And it's fourth down. Javante Jean-Baptiste, another big play against his former team. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is beautiful. He's playing inside. He's going to fight through a block and get the to the ball carrier right behind the line of scrimmage. And that is outstanding work by Jean-Baptiste. The tailback here on fourth and goal. Fake it to Williams. McCord rolls. McCord surveys. Tipped up. Incomplete. Second and short. McCord on the handoff. Henderson upended. Rotation. Made a nice play there on second down. Going quick on third and three. McCord lost, complete, Stover again, tripped up for a four. Captain for Notre Dame locked in the battle with Harrison. Play action for McCord. Steps up, looking to run, slips the tackle, and just Cam Hart, captain for Notre Dame locked in the battle with Harrison. Play action for McCord. Steps up, looking to run, slips the tackle, and just gets left. Second and eight. McCord back to the air, lost it down the sideline. Oh, Marvin held. They, they realized their error and got it corrected. It ends up resulting at a first down at the Notre Dame 49. Hand off Henderson. And he wiggles to the fourth. McCord looking for another chunk. It's a book again inside the red zone of the 15. And guys and detail guys. McCord on first down. Looking towards the end zone. Oh. Seconds left. Notre Dame will get the football to start the third quarter as they look for one more stand in this second quarter. Swing it. Henderson looking for the edge. And the go-to guy in this drive so far. He's down wide to the left. McCord looking end zone. Oh, nearly intercepted and incomplete. Cade Stover, the intended target. You got a kick out and a lead through, and normally this ball should hit right in here. But when you have speed like Travion Henderson, 
He knows he can get this thing all the way to the outside. He bounces it out, picks up the block from Harrison. One missed tackle, and it's to the house for Travion Henderson. And that's the threat he possesses. And Level from Travion Henderson, who had the 61-yard touchdown on the last drive. McCord right to Harrison right away. And a completion of long drives. But the one play that Ohio State had run was the long touchdown by Henderson, who stays in there on second down and four. Got the football, Henderson dances, and just gets back to the wide. Third and four. Leah foul on the blitz. McCord feeling it. McCord has to get rid of it. Tipped up in the air. Oh, it's complete. Oh, he stole. Says he models his game after George Kittle, a man who can do a little bit of everything. And that was the concentration of Kittle right there. McCord. There's a chunk gain again to Abuka in an Notre Dame territory to the Abuka. First set of downs. Abuka in motion. Play action for McCord. McCord going for it all. Single coverage. And Harrison can't reel it in. Cam Hart was with him stride for stride. Yeah, and you just wonder if that ankle has slowed him down just a hair because he's got top end speed. Cam Hart gets away with a little tug on the jersey. Cam Hart has no idea what here on second down with train him in the backfield. Play clock down to five. Just get it off in time. Train him on the run. Cuts up field and he stopped immediately. Last third down, Notre Dame elected to go with pressure. This looks like they're going to drop into coverage. Third and nine. McCord steps up and delivers it's Abuka again for a first takes the handoff to Abuka McCord on the bootleg just a little push pass it goes to Julian Fleming and a you can feel the energy at Notre Dame Stadium McCord to throw on second down good protection runs out and another completion of Marvin's up top McCord over the middle wide open Xavier Johnson with a lot of space Will in the Notre Dame territory Just get it off in time for McCord lost one towards the sideline Henderson with separation and the flag's gonna come in But a mental error there and now Ohio State in the red zone play action pass from McCord McCord with plenty of time and finally runs out. He just lost it towards the end zone, back to the end zone, and incomplete. And taking care of the football. Second and ten. Henderson finds the hole. Henderson breaks a tackle, and he gets tripped. And short has been a problem for Ohio State. Henderson, the handoff. Oh, I'm not sure he got it. Javante Jean-Baptiste, the first one to him, and he's short. Yeah, they're only converting like 44% so far on third and four or less. Here's third and one. Play clock all the way down to five. McCord handed off. Apuka around the edge. He is stonewalled. State to save their last time out. They'll start this drive from the 35. Henderson in motion. McCord looking to swing it to him, and that's going to be incomplete. Second and 10. McCord, screen, over the head of Henderson. McCord uncorks. It's complete. First down, Ohio State. He has had some huge third down conversions today. McCord hit as he throws. Incomplete in the direction of game as a starter. Second and ten. McCord feeling the pressure. Gets rid of it for Stover in a positive game. Is right here. McCord steps up and he's hit as he throws it. Incomplete. Major pressure from Notre Dame and J.D. Bertrand, the captain. Yeah, Bertrand comes on the blitz. There's a man to pick him up. Travian Henderson just doesn't do a good enough job blocking the blitz, and Bertrand is able to get a hit on the quarterback right as he's releasing the football. Looks like bracket coverage on Marvin down here on the right. 
McCord steps up over the middle. First down. Stover's open. Oh. Nearly intercepted. McCord to throw on second down. Another completion diving grab from Harrison. McCord hit. McCord keeps the football, lets it loose, and he throws it away. Three man rush. McCord floats it, end zone, caught short. Apuka makes the catch inside the. McCord rolls, fires, incomplete. Here as the last play of the game. Give it to him. Trainer up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. They walk it off at Notre Dame Stadium. They will look at it. They have to look at it. Well, first of all, gutsy call, calling the run. All the defenders on that side. Trainum runs back to the left. Notre Dame did not have enough defenders on that side of the formation. Now, did he get the ball across the plane? 